New at five, a lawsuit against the city of San Antonio involving a George Floyd protester and a SWAT officer in May of 2020 is settled. Alexander Lance, the man behind the camera in that video, was hit at point blank range with a sponge round. The city of San Antonio paid him $118,000. He was injured when it happened and had to go to the hospital as a result. News for San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza digs deeper into the lawsuit and hears from Lance's attorney who says this is about accountability, not money. There's no reason for the gun. It's a car. This is video taken by Alexander Lance. He accuses San Antonio police SWAT officer Jesse Noriega of using excessive force against him back in 2020 and filed a lawsuit against him and won. For whatever reason, uh, this officer um, decided that he did not like the comment and he was going to teach Alex a lesson. And um, that's why he shot him twice. That better be on safety. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you look. Oh, I don't need a cigarette. Council members approved the $118,000 settlement without discussion during Thursday's city council meeting. Lance was 23 at the time and shot twice by Noriega. He suffered a broken arm and had to have stitches in his leg. He was shot with what are called these sponge projectiles. At close range, these projectiles actually are considered a deadly weapon. Lance's attorney, Tim Maloney, says his client didn't want Noriega to get away with his actions. And the most frustrating thing to me is the fact that they left him there. They knew he was bleeding, they knew he had been shot, and they just left him. According to Maloney, Lance was shot at point blank range. That means the SWAT officer was either a few inches away from him or a few feet away from him. Point blank range also is a phrase that means can't miss range in everyday firearm language. We reached out to San Antonio City Attorney Andy Segovia, who sent us this statement. It says we recommend settlements only after careful analysis of the applicable law, the facts and the status of the litigation. We did the same in this case and recommended settlement with no acknowledgement of fault. We also reached out to several council members who deferred to the city attorney. District 10 City Councilman Mark White, who is also an attorney, says Lance was asking for much more. In this case, we felt like um, that settlement was in this amount was warranted and that moving forward based on the uncertainty and the cost of litigation, it would have cost the city much more. Lance's attorney says Officer Noriega did not have his own body camera activated at the time of the shooting. As for the other officers, their body camera video cannot be released because of a confidentiality agreement. It's one thing about shooting a man. It's another thing. I've shot him and then by, oh, he may need some medical attention. Nope. Continue on down the street. That, to me, was one of the most egregious things about this. From downtown Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio. According to the city attorney's office, around $100,000 to date in litigation fees has been paid out just on this lawsuit. So in total, with the settlement, that's about $218,000 of taxpayer dollars. And we've been asking you all day, what do you think of the city's decision to pay out to settlement? So far, here's what people are saying. Uh, you see the numbers overwhelmingly. People, 94% of you who have voted have said the city should not have paid uh, for this settlement. Only 6% of people saying yes.